Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, Nick was back there and I are going fishing for the first time since we've gotten to Florida. We'll be here for the next couple of months. If you didn't see my last video, you may not know that. And we are going to be fishing both freshwater and saltwater. We might have some help from some friends. We might go out with a charter or two while we're down here, but for the most part, this is going to be us just trying to figure it out. So we went to a local shop and they had about 20 flies, like total. I guess fly fishing isn't as popular down here or it wasn't so popular at that particular shop, but that's what I wanna try to do. I know it's going to be much harder than it would be if I had a spin rod, but I don't know, it should be fun. So tonight we're going to fish these little canals that are close by and see if we can catch anything. So we bought some like streamers to play around with. We need to buy a bunch of equipment which will take a couple days, so it'll probably be a little while little while before we get into the salt water, but we'll be hitting fresh water for probably the next week or so. And <laughs> sorry, my arms are like this camera's heavy and I worked out today, so my arms are shaking. Ryan just touched me. Oh did he? So it sounds like we'll have some fun with friends on Sunday. We'll be hunting, but first thing on the agenda is fishing. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I literally am bringing the reg book with me, <laughs> which is not a bad idea at all. You should do that all the time. Um, there are a lot of different subs, subtypes of bass. I'm probably not saying that right, but I want to be able to properly identify it when we catch one. <laughs> Big bass, draft bass, sunshine bass, butterfly peacock, <laughs> all the kinds of bass. <laughs> Like it's so funny we're just in like suburban Florida but I can't figure out why it's not working I don't know if it's my cast the lure the way I'm presenting the lure the location the temperature it's freezing it's like the coldest that Florida has been all year so so I don't know Okay, so we may have figured out what the issue was. Thankfully, a nice man saw us struggling and came over. He teaches fly fishing, or fly fishing casting, or both. Or maybe he's a guide, unclear, but a super nice gentleman. And he took a look at the fly that we had on and he was like, this is way too heavy for your five weight. This is for like an eight or nine weight. It's like something that you'd use for snook, so it's it's good. It'll be useful, just not right now. <laughs> so we bought a different fly. It's not even a fly, really. It's like a topwater something. So <laughs> we're gonna give that a try and see if that helps. We can see small fish in here. 
but. So we didn't catch any more fish, but the nice gentleman that I was telling you about came back and gave us, oh, I'm gonna show you. There we go. He gave us these two flies. He said that he's fished those same little canals that we were fishing, and he's actually caught fish there before. So it wasn't that weird of an idea, and I actually think it's cool. I was a little nervous that everyone was going to think that we were crazy because, to me at least, the place that we're at, it doesn't seem like folks are very, I don't know, sportsmanlike. Regardless, um, it was cool because he came right up to us and was nice and was helping us out. But anyways, we'll try those in the morning and now it's time for dinner. So I'll show you, I've got some broccoli in the oven and then we have got backstrap for dinner. A beauty. I use coconut oil for basically everything. Oh, and there are the salt water regs. You saw the fresh water earlier. I think it's funny the package just says backstrap usually I put whose deer it was whether it was a doe or a buck in this case I know it's whitetail but obviously I put the game species too and this time I just wrote backstrap so I must have been in a hurry when I was butchering this animal it's definitely a whitetail I just can't remember which one or from where? Because Nick killed a buck in Pennsylvania, a buck in Ohio, and a doe in Pennsylvania. And then we had a friend give us a little bit of meat. Whether this is a buck or a doe, I do not know. Not that it really matters, but one time Nick had a buck from Pennsylvania that was so stinky, and I'm not sure why. He took it to a butcher to process it, so. Who knows if it was actually his deer. If you don't have a trusted butcher, you never quite know. If you have a good butcher, then there's nothing to worry about, but we do everything ourselves now. But that one Pennsylvania buck was That, my friends, is a perfect piece of meat. This is what the final product looks like. I really like broccoli, if you can't tell. And then this is my secret sauce, the Yuge, which you probably know by now. A1, sour cream, and horseradish. 